small beach town Pipa in northeastern Brazil. It's in the very top of places you simply need to visit in this country. But what if you go the worst possible month when the rain is supposed to virtually drown the town and all tourists have fled? <laughs> we were stupid enough to try. All right, as you know, I've been around Brazil. I've been visiting more than a dozen states and throughout my travels, there's always been three tourist destinations that found a special place in my heart. Pipa, right up here in the Northeast. Jericoacoara, also in the Northeast. And Ilha Grande, just outside of Rio. Now it's time, once and for all, to settle which one of them is Brazil's best tourist destination. This will be tough. Okay, we already know these three places are booming during high season. So this battle will be settled by revisiting them during their worst possible period. It's road trip. Road trip! Most people visit Pipa by flying to local capital Natal, but we want to show it's actually possible to take a car from the greatest city in the northeast, Fortaleza. This same trip can be done for $30 using the carpool app BlaBlaCar. The drive between these two cities is almost 9 hours, so you better bring a pillow. And go in mid-April, keep expectations low in terms of weather and party. I have so many great memories from this place. And I mean, how bad can it be? I'm so insanely excited. A feeling perhaps not shared by everyone. Cause while northeastern Brazil is known for being sunny, it gets pretty much all of the rain for the whole year during the second half of March to the first half of May. But it's a little late turning back now. Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived at Pipa. May God, or at least the weather God, be with us. And it only took a second realizing a huge perk of coming off season. This is a place I never would afford with other tourists competing over the hotel rooms. <laughs> How much we paid for this location? <laughs> You'll be shocked. Excited? Very excited. How was the nine hour car trip here? It's fine. I survived. No problem sitting in a car nine hours. No, no, nine hours is okay. Yeah, I bet it was okay. I damn all a few people who can sleep in cars. Anyways, before we start this adventure, there's one little thing we gotta do: haircuts. Were you just a little tipsy and still getting a haircut? Quero muito muito alto, muito alto como assim. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. You can do anything. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have said that. At least I'm getting some nice guitar tunes for free. It's getting better, guys. You like to drink here? Very much. What's the good here? The weather is good. The food is good. The beach. Gringos boas. <laughs> That's a pretty fair price. Ah, yes. Looking like a schoolboy again. Liga lá, amigo. E a música super. Now let's do pipa. <laughs> and as expected, it's kind of slow in town. All right, all freshen up, looking brand new. It is time to settle this once and for all. Which is the best tourist destination in Brazil? How are you doing there? I'm dying. <laughs> a lot of makeup on my face, I think you came out. Yeah, it's hot as usual here in Pipa, northeastern Brazil. So maybe we should go over the rules for this thing. You never thought the smallest transformer would be this big. We are trying to crown the best beach retreat in Brazil, meaning a vacation spot you go to relax and get some fun in the sun, which means all cities are automatically disqualified. Sorry about that, Rio. And one thing fast becomes obvious. This town reminds a lot of Jericoacoara. There's no sand here. Jericoacoara has a lot of sand on the streets. It's uh, just a little easier to walk here. <laughs> it's cute. A lot of restaurants, a lot of good hotels, like the beach. It's chic. Brazilians love that word. Yes, it's very chic. 
this little alley was definitely made for all the Instagrammers out there and for them to extort their boyfriends. Ah, uh, yes, let's buy that dress. Maybe just have dinner first. I then. know how it's like. <laughs> we come back, we come back to buy it. Like she's, uh, she's gonna forget it. She's gonna forget about it. Nothing like a little photo session to make them forget about all those shiny things. And I'm also happy to see that although there are fewer people on the streets, most places stay open. Pipa still kind of looks the same. My favorite hamburger joint is still in business. She's already forgotten. No. But we gotta stay real here. There's a whole other vibe at night the other 10 months of the year. You'll see nothing of that a weekday in April. But you won't have any trouble finding a seat. Look at this place, son. Just a wild guess that I'm thinking it's uh, Caipirinha time. Cheers, guys. So, Jared, what do you think about Pipa so far? It's incredible. I love the vibe. Caipirinha is looking promising. Caipirinha is incredible. Beautiful town. So what is in store if you're looking for some after dark fun in the two rainy months? Let's say options are limited. But tonight we're a little, I don't know, I don't know. I'm not sure if tonight is a night. Uh. But although being dead quiet, many bars still stay open. Tudo bem, está aberto hoje. Welcome. This one used to be one of my favorites, Omi Bar. Oh yes, that's water. Eita! This is better than water. Much better. I'm fitness. Saúde! Tuesday evening, low season peep up. <laughs> I don't think there's gonna be a lot of party tonight. <sighs> what do you say? So far so good? I think you should put your legs down, honey. Why? Uh-oh, that was the wrong answer. I like to hear you. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> the last time I did was because I wanted to get as many breaths as I want and then chill out. That's what happens when you, do buy, when you don't buy them out of school. Ah. All right, let's save that party energy for another day. So, while low season nights may not be the wildest, days come with a massive perk. You basically got the beaches for yourself. Hey, hey. <laughs> what a day it turns out to be. Was supposed to be a freaking monsoon today. <laughs> Once again, you will not believe what I'm paying for this hotel. Yeah, this view sucks, right? Incredible. Uh, what are you looking at? That's just a simple breakfast. I have it every day. This is not much, is it? Don't fat shame me. So, what do you hate most about Pipa so far? Oh, look at this. It's so beautiful, isn't it? I hate everything. I know, right? Life sucks. Let's go be miserable on the three kilometers of Paradise Beach right outside the door. When you literally have the beach 10 meters from your hotel. A little morning adventure. Yes, the tide is a funny thing in Pipa. You'll be planning your whole days after it. Yeah, that seems like a little safer way to get to the beach. Something tells me it's not that low tide we wanted to, uh, to make a big walk around these beaches here. I'm just gonna say this. It was supposed to uh, rain loads and loads today. Yeah, I hate when the weather reports are lying to you. Now we have to somehow try enduring this instead. Why I love FIFA. <laughs> oh my God, look at this. And this, my friend, is considered to be the ugly beach of FIFA. <laughs> that kind of says it all, doesn't it? Time for that first little swim. And some of us have already made up their mind about the beaches of Pipa. But a little more waves than Jerry. Yes, the mood of the ocean shifts completely from day to day in Pipa. Sometimes completely still, sometimes this. 
Take a look at this place. If paradise ever had a name. I'm trying to get some sand before it starts raining, so. Yeah, hurry up and get that sand. It's time to get in there. <laughs> Hands down my best swim in weeks. 35 degrees in the water perhaps. <laughs> Just perfect. So, where were we actually going today? We planned a walk to Hidden Dolphin Beach next door. That'll have to wait for later. Alright, so where are we going now? Praia do Amor. That is right. What does that mean? Beach, love, love beach. Which might just be one of the best beaches in the whole of Brazil. Bikini. It looks like you have a bikini already. I know, but I want a new one. So how many bikinis do you have already? I think I have 10. 10. Do you know how many shorts I have? Three. Yeah, I have three. Praia do Amor. Can, can we take a picture there? Sure. So is this a heart or an apple? I think it's an apple. <laughs> okay, let's not sit there. Love is an air. Sure is. So here we are, arriving at Praia do Amor. How excited are you? <laughs> well, I wanna eat something, I'm starving. Eat! God damn it. The best view of your life awaits and you think of food. Yeah. Run! Love! Beach of love! Some say this is one of Brazil's top three beaches. I am not gonna argue with them. Just look at this. This is so beautiful. The walk here from Pipa Town, 10 to 15 minutes. It's nice, right? Yeah, it's awesome. Just to give you an idea of how incredible this view is, I think this footage fits into the category drone porn. Yeah, that's definitely one point for Pipa. They simply don't have this kind of view in Ilha Grande or Jericoacoa. This is the Praia do Amor effect. I can't recall any other beach where it takes this long arriving, because you gotta stop for photos all the time. Not a walk for people who are not good at walking. <laughs> oh yes, here we are. Uh, not now. Oh man, oh man, this is even more beautiful than I remembered it. Normally this beach would be swarming with people a day like this, but now you gotta love it. Ah, uh, holy mama! <laughs> so what do you think about this beach? It's awesome! It's, I've never seen that before in my life. So different uh, landscape. But you're a little afraid of swimming here, right? Yes. Looks like, looks like a little bit you know, dangerous. The sea is too wild? Yeah, it's like me. <laughs> but she's right, be careful swimming. The sharp cliffs at the side of the beach gives an idea of what's hiding below the surface. Look at that rock. <laughs> yeah, this place, right? And I know we're kind of living on borrowed time here. There can't possibly be this sunny all these days. Because frankly, we were supposed to be swimming on dry land this period. Ah, uh, can you hear that? Silence. And that's also all you get from your cell phone down here. There is little to no signal on Praia do Amor. So make sure to decide a spot in advance if you're meeting up with friends. One day, mommy. One day I'll be a surfer. Oh yeah, this is acai, everyone. Show your tongue. Wow. Get real pretty eating that thing, acai. Yeah, Brazilians love this black, blue. <laughs> it's so good. Oh. Mm. But acai is not the most popular thing at our table. For some reason, uh, the wasps here seem to like my Coca-Cola Zero better than my actual pina colada. I gotta save this one. Hey, buddy, get out of here. This is not a place for you. Okay. This situation is getting hostile. There's another one. Another one bites the dust. My glass of cola has turned into a graveyard. Can you explain what the hell happened here? They are trying to attack my sunglasses. What's your problem? Weirdest thing ever happening on a beach. There were about 30 wasps just swarming around my Coca-Cola Zero. My pina colada was fine. 
<laughs> oh yes, as usual, we've saved the best for last. You thought this was nice? Are you ready to see paradise? Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, I'm so excited for this one. My own little secret beach. It's safe. No. It's reasonably safe. Straight in here. This is like another world. It's like the perfect beach meets, I don't know, Stonehenge. These black cliffs are just magnificent. Ah, uh, this is one of my dearest little hideouts in the whole of Brazil. <laughs> Look at it. This magic pathway opens up when the tide allows, and that differs throughout the year. Be sure to keep an eye on the water to make it back safe. Private beach, private restaurant, private caipirinha. It's caipirinha time. Cheers! Pipa, you're doing pretty well at the moment. If you're anywhere near Pipa, I strongly recommend you to check out this place. The little restaurant also serves some real good food for those who like eating. Now, how about that Pipa sunset? In Jericoacoara, day-to-day -day life basically evolves around the sunset and everyone gathers down at the beach to greet it. In Pipa it works another way, instead there's a couple of different sunset bars. That's the light you want, and your face look pretty, people say. And frankly, sunsets in Jetty are just a little bit more dramatic than over here. Yeah, that's how you know you're in Brazil. <laughs> oh yeah, do you remember how there used to be an ocean here? That's how much the tide shifts around Pipa. Now, sunset drinks. <laughs> Yeah. Liking pipa. Love it. Pipa's amazing. Você gosta? Demais. Perfeito. Eita. It's caipirinha delivery. That's right. It's always time for another caipirinha. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> uh, I was a little too eager there. You filthy boy. Life pretty decent right now. Yeah, sure, sure, that's real nice. But come on, guys, we gotta give that nightlife a second chance. And if you're just looking to wind down in a nice restaurant, you've come to the right place. I think someone farted here. I smell it. <laughs> I farted, but I was like 10 meters away. <clears throat> no, now I smell it. That, that wasn't me. <laughs> I promise, not even a bloodhound could pick up my farts. <laughs> Anyways, the ever open nightclub of Pipa, Bacana Club. Not by any means known as the best one, but just being open goes a long way a Wednesday in April. And apart from that spacious interior, it comes with a big perk. The perhaps cheapest caipirinhas in Pipa. Two big ones for four dollars. Let's see if we can make a night out of this. And with a proper DJ and some good old Brazilian energy, this place is actually taking off. Uh, just a little. Suddenly a discreet but deadly serious dance battle is breaking out between the different tables. <laughs> and I don't mean to brag, but it kind of feels like we're winning. Send me a private message for dance lessons. Okay, what else is happening out there? And now to what used to be the big hip place in Pipa. I was actually kicked out of here last time. <laughs> that was not the proudest moment of my life. You will never see that footage. It's almost sad to see this place uh, that empty. But just no point wasting a night there. Low season. Only one card left to play. Now one last chance for party. Good old Taiba. You can always rely on Taiba. Yeah, man. Let's try this ready party out. This place is in the edge of town and a favorite among locals. And today, obviously, also for hippies. I think you can guess what the air in here smells like. Yeah, that uh, wasn't really for us. <laughs> 
it's settled. Peepa Nightlife, a weekday in April, it's dead. Now the good stuff. Another day in Peepa low season, another day in Peepa rainy season. And this is obviously one of the biggest perks about being here when no one else is. <laughs> yeah, hotel rooms are much cheaper. Would you look at that? <laughs> Not a cloud on the sky. Smart TV. Girl included in the room. Hi, baby. Along with a nearly fully equipped kitchen and a very decent bathroom and hot shower. I'd say this is pretty good value for money. And right next to the beach, which we can't really enter right now, we'll just have to walk around to the other side of it. Yet another morning during rainy season with, well, barely a cloud in sight. And I, I just gotta tell you, this is not how it's supposed to be. No, we've been lucky. Almost too lucky. Yeah. Wow. This half of the beach, a little more touristy. Look at this water. Oh, yes. Another day in paradise. It's cold. It's about 30 degrees in the water. But this girl, she hasn't been to Rio de Janeiro. I don't think it's, about, it's a good idea you being here with your cell phone. And speaking about Rio, I just made the ultimate guide for you. Hello, amigo. First caipirinha of today, but most definitely not the last. But truth is, we have another mission for today. You can't visit Pipa without trying to see the dolphins in their natural habitat. They got their own little private beach and it's right around the corner from here. Yes, the tide finally allows us to try this little adventure again. It's only a 15 minute walk from Praia da Pipa and so worth it. So all this here is underwater for half of the day. And when the tide pulls back, it's a perfectly pristine beach and a pathway to the secret dolphin beach. Yes, there will be actual wild dolphins waiting for you in this bay. If you're lucky, they come all the way to the beach to play. There it is. Praia do Golfinho. Oh, honey, it's beautiful. You like it? Love it. If you want guaranteed dolphin action, take a boat. 30 meters out, you're almost certain to spot them. Hey, where did my photographer go? <laughs> Already out looking for dolphins. What? I don't think that's a dolphin. I'm guessing you want some photos here? Yeah. And now you know why my videos take an average of 40 hours to finish. Every time is photo time. Pose. Not that I'm complaining, but coming here a sunny day makes all the difference. So I just gotta show you how this place looked early in the morning. What's happening here? The snake is going out. It's a snake here. Oh, it's Is it python? Uh, that's a bad ass snake. She will not attack me. I think he will primarily attack the guy with the stick. He's trying to get her off and her put it on the jungle. Okay, peri perigoso por turistas. Verdade, perigoso por turistas. Com cobras na praia. This one seemed to get away, so maybe not go near that green bush. It's raining. Oh no. We kind of deserve this. We had a good run, people. Now let's get the heck out of here. Come on, come on, come on, bring the stuff. Oh yeah. And that concludes this video. Going to Pipa during rainy season might not be such a bad idea unless you're looking for party. If you like this video and want to support the channel, scan these codes to reach my shop or to send a donation. This is my full-time job and I do it for a living. And don't forget who brought you these awesome news first. Thanks for watching and be safe.